Beep, 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 all this new, new and approved from the jester. Hello, everyone. Um, good morning, good morning, or good evening, good afternoon, and good night to whoever it is that's watching. Um, <laughs> Stonewall! Yay, we're back with Stonewall. And we now have the release of the new Stonewall Top 100 list. Can you, can you believe there are people that are still doing this? I mean, you know, talk about attention, cultural void. They've got to be absolutely unplugged from anything cultural. They've got to be completely unplugged from what's going on in the world, haven't they, really? To a Stonewall Top 100. <laughs> so we've got the list. I have put the list in the dubris, OK? Buy me a coffee if you can buy me a coffee. Support me in whatever way you can. It's all in the list. Become a warrior teacher. Start, I start advertising soon. Okay? Come and be part of the solution, folks. Come and be part of the solution. It's the most interesting part of what we're doing right now is the collaborative work between individuals in each group and the things that, again, appearing on radio, appearing on TV. It's terribly exciting. So come and come and become a warrior teacher and, and join the programme. Not least of all, because it's, it's fun. And, and secondly, it's collaborative. And thirdly, the things we talk about, you wouldn't believe what comes up, what we've got going on within the within the learning. It's extraordinary history and geography. Very exciting. Anyway, that's enough of me pushing my own nonsense. Let's talk about the Stonewall Top 100. And I'm so glad to see that the, that the team are <coughs> giving them the most awful time online on Twitter. They're all turning off comments and eyes in the replies because it's like, oh dear. What are you doing? And it's now, it's, there's, a, there's a terror to it, which is not like a screaming mad. What are you doing? These people are dreading. It's more like a, like a, like a sort of an aunt that's disappointed in their niece or nephew. It's, oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> what are you playing? <laughs> that you want to pat them on the head and go, it's okay. We know you don't understand. We do. It's like, what are you doing? So that's rather lovely. However, I've been asked by people who saw my video um, in which I was very angsty and upset about, and rightly so, by the way, about the uh, behaviour of the Tavistock and said to me, so, all right, smart ass, what do we do next? And I've been mulling that and it's an interesting question. And I, I would say what you do next is you get yourself the Stonewall Top 100 list and ring a few. Why not? Just get on the phone. Hello, I'm Mr. Concerned or I'm Mrs. Concerned. Yep, get on the phone and ring a few or stop doing business with them. You want to know what to do next. If you want to do something and you don't want to do something that's dramatic, do something small but it's going to make you feel feel good about the fact that you've done something positive, then I would suggest that you stop doing business with these people. Right? Or message them on Twitter or ring them up and say, excuse me, what are you doing? Why are you supporting homophobia? Why are you supporting misogyny? Why aren't you paying attention to what's going on? Right? Because if they're supporting Stonewall, they're supporting the entire thing. You can't, there's no getting past it, folks. Those of you that are on the, who we got in the top list here? Clifford Chance, right? No, Clifford Chance Law Firm. This isn't doing what you think it's doing, Clifford Chance. That's what I would say, right? So for, in, the, in the absence of me mulling more about what else can we do, I've got some ideas about writing to employers and teachers that may be interesting, and I'm hoping to come up with that in the next week or two, but that's gonna take a while. There's some serious research involved in that. Um, and of course, if you want other resources, there are fantastic groups that have resources for you, Transgender Trend, Sex Matters, Stats for Gender, Gen Spect, organisations that already provide resources to help parents with uh, with, uh, with um, schools and to help em people with employers. So there's plenty, plenty of places you can look at, Free Speech Union. So I recommend all of those, to have a look at all of those things. But let's do the top 100 employers because there's some delicious ones in here. There really is. I mean, I, it, so we've got these organisations on a list and you've got the list in the Dubris, okay? So um, we've got, let's just do the top three first, right? So we've got Clifford Chance, which is a law firm. What a surprise. And then you've got Arup, sustainability. That's, that's net zero people, isn't it? <laughs> I wonder what happened to Pinchant Masons. They were top for years, you know. I can't find them at all. Do you think it's possible that Pinchant Masons, who were top for years, have stopped doing it? I wonder, anybody who works at Pinchant Masons, let me know, will you, if they stop doing it. Strikes me as you get on it long enough, you, you twig it, because these guys haven't twigged it, whoever they are, idiots. Right, okay. So, and then, then we have the next one down the list, number two, which is, which is, number three, sorry, which is victim support. Holy shit. That's a, that's a, that's, really? 
victim support. Number three. What are they doing? What are they doing? Gets worse, sorry. NHS Business Services Authority. Cheshire Fire and Rescue Service. Can you imagine? Just, this is all about representation. It's all that kind of, you know, if you've got gay people represented, if you've got pronouns in your bloody signatures, maybe it's the last thing you're worried about if you're in a burning building, isn't it? What's your sexuality? Don't, I'm not being rescued by a fag. I was rescued by the fireman. It was extraordinary. He saved my life, but unfortunately he didn't have pronouns on his badge. Jacob's Engineering Group. I mean, what is an engineering firm doing in bed with Stonewall? Jacob's Engineering Group. And then you've got Stockport Homes Group. Well, they've been there for ages, right? And KPMG. Just, let's not even talk about KPMG. I've done work for them in the past. Um, not not pleasant. But it has to be said. And then Link Later, and City, C-I-T-I, um, at number 10. But then we move a little bit down, and you get Wix, <laughs> who obviously haven't learnt from the bashing they got on Twitter. But what a strange... and a, a, Wix. I mean, I go to Wix if I want to seal my bathroom, you know? Or I go to Wix if I want to buy some paint. Or I go to Wix if I'm looking for a bloke to do a job for me. You know, I don't go to Wix <laughs> to be told about, you know, crap. Quite frankly, I don't. I don't know. I want to go into Wix and say, where's your AGP section? <laughs> have you got it? Yep. Yeah. I'm looking for your manual on child sterilisation. Do you have it? <laughs> shouldn't laugh about these things, but what else are you going to do? And as we move down, we then get to see a few of the universities appeal. So, we, so the first one that appears is Swansea University. What are you doing, Swansea University? In bed with these clowns. HSBC, here comes the one that's going to sting. Tesco Stores Limited. It's the only place I can get the certain curry sauce that I like, but I now can no longer have my curry sauce. That's it. Tesco Store Limited, Unilever. Well, I mean, if you're going to not use stuff by Unilever, you're going to be like living like some nomad. <laughs> Unilever's got fingers in every pie. And then we've got Kent Fire and Rescue Service. Well, I mean, why is Kent Fire and Rescue Services? What's, what's going on here in bed with them? Here's a biggie. Right, here's a big in. You can do something about this, but it's going to sting. But that's the price. If you've got the principles, do it. You can't go, here's my principles. If you don't like these, I've got others, as in the great Groucho Marx said. So here's one that you can really do something with. Sky UK. Cancel your Sky and tell them why. It drives them mad. So when you cancel it, they'll, they'll ring you up and say, well, you've been with us a long time, and what I'd like to do is give you an offer of nine months at half price in order that you... That's what they do, right? Because they don't give a toss, really. They don't give a toss if you're going to leave. So Sky TV, this, you know, this will sting. But if you're going to do it, do it. I haven't got it. I don't do business with them. I stopped once I knew they were doing this kind of terrible stuff. I won't have anything to do with them. Right, so Sky UK, there's the something you do. Ring up today and cancel your Sky subscription. And then when they come back bleating, and here's my offer of nine months at half price, then say to them, it doesn't matter how much you give me because you are morally bankrupt because you're in the Stonewall Top 100. You want to do something, there's something you can do. Asking me the question, what can we do, is a very important question. I'm more than happy to try and find things that we can do. right? But if you're asking me the question, what can I do, and not have to sacrifice anything, then you're not doing anything. Isn't it? It's hard to find something where you could do something but not sacrifice something, i.e., your anonymity or I, your, you know, your, your particular stance on something because it's attached to this is difficult. I know it's hard. Do you think I don't know? I do know. University of Greenwich, the Bank of America. <sighs> um, De Montfort University, the Solicitors Regulation Authority. Jesus Christ. Aviva, we knew about them, didn't we? Um, listen, insurance company, just don't do business with them. University of Manchester, well, they're mental. They've gone mental. Absolutely mental, the University of Manchester. Don't send your kids there, for God's sake. Here's a surprising one for me. At 32, Rolls-Royce. I'm going to ring them. What the fuck are they doing? Rolls-Royce. You know, heavily involved in real huge engineering projects and they're farting about with pronouns and nonsense. Well, right, so that, anyway, you've got the list, you can have a look through it. Get Greater Manchester Combined Authority Fire and Rescue Service. What is it about firemen? Health Education England, Virgin Money, Vodafone, Virgin Media, M&S Bank, Berkshire Health Trust, BNA Systems. You know, the most worrying ones of these are, are really the ones that are publicly owned. They've got to be stopped. I mean, the government can stop that overnight. Can we? Um, and coming at 100 is Network Rail. 
I suggest that we all take a short train trip and sticker the shit out of them. <laughs> That's what we should do. And then it says at the bottom, unlock the potential of your LGBTQ plus workforce. And these and bumps the daisy people. <laughs> and join our diversity champion program today. Um, it's a boondoggle. You know, it's a scam. Here's the worrying bit. If I am, shall we say, a public sector, you know, Greater Manchester, whatever it may, you know, I work for the public sector, and I'm covered by the public sector equality duty. Now, what Stone will do, cleverly, and because they're crafty and they're parasitic, is that they make it so that you have to have these theories and tenets that they come up with, not just for your company, but externally, i.e. you've got to encourage it down the supply chain. So you imagine, I'm a council, or I'm a body set up, in order to help fund public sector programmes, which make no bones about it, the government throws 100 million in the pot for a project. That is about social development. That project will will then trickle down to uh, engineering companies or companies doing whatever it may be. And those companies will then use that money to generate employment, to provide workplaces. Uh, and Stonewall, with its sticky fingers, is going to start to insist that you have the crap right the way through down to the bottom. So if it goes down to me, little old me, going to do some training, sooner or later somebody comes along and goes, yeah, you can't do this without pronouns in your fucking email. That's how capture works, folks. Right? So here's my suggestion. My suggestion of the day is if you want to do something, find a couple of companies on there and call them. Just call two. Go, excuse me, what are you doing? And who are you? I'm a member of the public. I'm a very concerned, I'm concerned about children. Tell me. How do you justify supporting Stonewall, which supports? And off you go. Make the call, you feel better. Don't matter if you make a tit of yourself, nobody's going to care. But make the call, it makes you feel better. Right? And it's all, it all drips, 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 drips into the one side of the scale. And all we have to do is make the drips on one side of the scale outweigh the behemoth of bullshit that Stonewall is on the other. That's what I suggest you do. Just a small thing. And you just fight in your own little way, which is, you know, that's what Maud would say. Warrior teachers know what I'm talking about. That's what Maud would say. Okay, so I think it's necessary for you to do something if you feel you should. You don't have to do much. Nobody's asking you to do much. I don't want you to. Right, what I think you should do today is start a YouTube channel. Don't. Leave that to, you know, to the Old gits like me who have been so cancelled by this that it doesn't matter because nobody's going to employ them anyway. Hmm. Okay. So the Stonewall top 100. Top 100 wankers. <laughs> <laughs> Write that letter. Write that email. Do that tweet. Pick someone on the list and start a fight. <laughs> good luck, good jest rights and keep jesting. Bye-bye.